Medrolov announces that he is hiring new workers for the family farm and has upset his sons. Matt is looking for helpers as he plans to retire as his sons Zack and Jeremy are lazy. I understand the guy's frustrated state when their father brings in new employees, and they are no closer to making a relationship. An insider said, Matt is hiring new workers on the farm so he can focus more on himself and finish the new house. He thinks a couple of extra workers would be perfect. Matt's excuse is that he's no replacing his sons but wants things to be okay on the farm. They're both upset with him, but it's been talked about in the past, and it's up to Matt to make the decision when they start moving forward. They added, he's hiring two to four new full-time farm workers to help Jacob now that he's starting to adopt his father's experience. I'm guessing that Matt wants his youngest son to take his place. In a recent Instagram post, Matt revealed he was looking for new employees and posted a photo of himself with his son Jacob, who works with him full-time on the farm. He continued, urgently hiring strong, reliable workers at Rolla Farms for our world-famous pumpkin patch season. Tasks will include but are not limited to setting up and lowering tents, mowing lawns, destroying weeds, setting up the parking lot, moving hay bales, and working closely with our artists. The father of four could not reach a financial agreement with Zack and Jeremy over the farm sale, and they expressed their feelings about the situation. The ex-wife on the matter stated, I think you're crazy or something. I don't know the details of the negotiations with the two boys. At that price, the kids can't afford it. Matt replied, the good news is that there are 93 acres for this family. Amy replied, no, there are 93 acres for Matt Roloff, but unfortunately, he is no longer part of the family. Zack stated that his father had initially encouraged the conversation about him and his wife Tori buying the farm. He said, the north side is the 30 acres my mom and dad shared and the whole thing was weird. He started making excuses. Suddenly my wife and I weren't good enough to run the farm. Either we don't have the money or we don't have the skills. Tori said that wasn't nice. I never want anyone talking to my husband like that. Meanwhile, Jeremy's wife Audrey said they were disappointed they couldn't take responsibility. Der and I have been hoping to get his parents' farm or part of it since we were kids, she wrote in a comment. It was something he was convinced was possible. He made it very famous for his family and publicly on television. It became a shared dream when we got married and we started working on it. Now, after being rejected, they are focused on other plans for the future. 